What up guys, it's the Stashies Tutorials on YouTube here, back again with another Cole Bennett tutorial. Um, let's get right into it, like you guys never heard that before, haha. Alright, anyways, alright, so we're in Vegas again, once again, what's new? Um, I have my clip here, it's a clip of this cat, I'm zooming in on him, um, it's not my cat, don't worry, but whatever. So, let's, let's say you have just... This, I'm using this cat, you can use, you know, a wrapper, you can use yourself, you can use whatever. Um, okay, so I have my clip in here, on the timeline. Um, I'd, I'd imagine you guys would have two. Okay, first thing you want to do is go to the right right here, right click, click duplicate track. Now you have these two tracks. Alright, now this first track you want to go, click this pan crop, and want to click mask. Okay, and then make sure you have this sync, cruise, uh, sync cursor on because whenever you move out here, it'll move in here. Um, just make sure you have that clicked on. All right, I'm gonna make a mask of about the first frame. Let's go back here. Let's go to the first frame. Okay, to make a mask, you guys should already know. Uh, click this anchor creation tool, click it, and I'm just gonna click around his eye like that in like four parts maybe I do it right here like that do it right there okay and then I'm gonna create another one over here on four parts do it like that do it like that do it like nope but you get it it's not like that mattered but you know I'm gonna be a stickler about it okay and then we go click that and finish it all right so I'm gonna click up here and I'm gonna select all right oh i guess it doesn't work all right so you want to click on one of them you want to click feather type and you want to click out i already tried all the feather types on it trust me out's the best and trust me about two two feathers is the best um for what we're doing so we want to click this over here too want to click out again and then you want to click come on there you go one two all right um, look, it didn't change. Well, don't worry. It'll... We'll get to it. All right, you're gonna want to leave this on positive for both of these because we're gonna do, we're gonna do something. All right, I'm gonna go a few frames forward, and then I'm just gonna do a quick mask so it kind of looks decent. Here, I'll move this a little bit. Okay, come on. I hate Vegas 15. Come on. Oh, come on, dude. This is so whack. Sorry about this. Alright, and this eye looks good, so I'm gonna keep that right there. Okay. Go a few frames forward. I'm gonna click on this. And then I'm gonna move it. Nope. I'm gonna have to click on this. Hold on. Right click, select, path. Okay, and I'm gonna move it with my arrow strokes. Um, if you guys already know how to mask, I forgot to say this, I probably should have said this earlier. If you guys already know how to mask, you can move on to this part and then move on to the effect. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do this for about another minute or so. But um, if you guys, or is, if this is your first tutorial, Cole Bennett story I'm watching, or watching for me, masking is like one of the biggest things Cole Bennett does. Um, he has really good masks. The thing is he does in After Effects, which is easier because he doesn't have to do all this manual work. But if you're doing the Vegas, you have to do it. All right, so that's a good mask. Go a little bit five, like about five frames forward. That's good. Keep it right there. Move that right here. I'll make a keyframe because those are kind of good. Move it a little bit. I'm gonna move this about right there. Okay. Um, keep that right there. Go a little bit forward. 
Okay, I'm going to move this to the Can keep that for time's sake and then oh here's where it starts getting crazy all right since i have this selected i'm just gonna move that a little bit you can do it you can do it come on don't kill me oh i'm not clicking on the mask okay i'm gonna move about this right here good whatever okay click that right here select path don't turn it don't turn it move that over here a little bit more and that's good um i'm kind of doing it very crude since we feathered it out it'll look pretty decent so you see all this um bright brightness out of here that's the feather so make sure if you like if you do it outside an eye and you're like i don't want it i want it smaller uh, make your feather smaller or make your mask smaller and just you know um count count in the feather all right here's where the effect starts um i know you guys might be thinking like okay we delete this and put a yellow over here but it doesn't work like that because if you do that then the effects you put on the yellow won't go over the face right that makes sense so just trust me on this you won't go to video effects you're gonna want to go to you're gonna want to type in fill fill alpha grab this drag it onto your top clip because the top clip is when we did the mask on and that already looks like what we know Cole Bennett I'm gonna change this to yellow because everyone likes yellow um you let me change this now oh, looks green that's gross like a monster all right change that to yellow all right now we want the rays effect so we're gonna type in rays all right we're gonna click it we're gonna, you see, you might have, you should have luminous and alpha and whatever presets you have. Uh, get on alpha, drag it, and drag it onto the first clip. And then you should have this. Um, now, this is already what people want. Uh, make sure, before, before you like say, oh, this is best, if you have it on preview auto or draft auto, you're gonna wanna change that to best full and it'll look a little bit different. The final product will look different from, um, from the preview auto just so you know um i like it it didn't look that much different i like how it looks right now um and i might keep it like that uh if i mess with the settings you see this noise right here the noise would be this these streaks some people like the streaks like it's like a ray of light um if i bring that all the way down it'll it should be like a solid but kind of like the streaks see it looks solid um, I believe the streaks give it a little bit more of a realistic feeling. So we'll just put it, that back up there. If you want it more, you can also boost. This boost will bring this deep yellow out more. So if we bring this boost up a little bit and wait for it to load. There goes the yellow. Oh, see, look, I should have waited for it. It brings this yellow out more and then it looks like his eyes are on fire, right? Um, we'll bring that boost all the way down back to negative 100 right um this peak should be about let's see what this does peak should do that so it's kind of like the boost but a little bit more so we bring the peak out and the boost out let's see what happens oh yeah eyes on fire right don't do that so yeah um so it really looks like alpha is the best one we also might um if you put on luminance or you might put on like just a default one and you're wondering why it's not as bright uh you have to make sure key alpha channel is on because if i uncheck that you see all this it's not as bright so make sure that's clicked on um i kind of like that i don't want to change it if you change the threshold a little bit it should be dimmer yeah so we'll just change that back to normal all right um you can also change the color we want to I kind of like it how the eyes are yellow and it's glowing yellow. Um, but if you want the, if you put eyes like make the eyes red or anything, then it'll you can make it red or anything. You can make it red. Um, we'll pick, change that back to yellow, 
and the saturation we can make it ooh now it doesn't look that good go yellow looks kind of blue come on yellow um make it move a little more yellow nice and if you want um the saturation to be up so like the kind of how deep the colors are um bring the saturation up and this should be deeper but that's basically it for this tutorial um like i said leave a like it really helps the channel helps the channel grow helps my videos get out there more and i really like how my videos get out there so leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you want more videos i'm on the weekly grind of new videos i'll probably make another video on how the his change in eye color effect is kind of the same way but it's way easier uh, easier um yeah pretty much it if you want to watch my other tutorials there should be a playlist on the screen and a subscribe button you can click the subscribe button you can click the playlist watch my other tutorials learn how to use sony vegas and cold button effects make your own music videos or whatever all right um that's pretty much it all right peace out later